Take a breath. Easy. Right? But did you know that every breath begins a fascinating journey through a system of tubes so precise, it's like a living superhighway? Let's follow that breath, and explore the structures that make it possible. Starting with the Grand Gate. The Trachea. The trachea, also called your windpipe, this is the main passageway for air from our throat to lungs. Trachea is about 10 to 12 centimeters long. Roughly the length of an adult's hand, and 2 centimeters wide. Trachea have a gate and a gatekeeper in front of it. In the beginning of trachea there are, two pearly white bands of tissue in the center of your voice box, it is called vocal cord. It opens and allow air flow in and out through trachea. There is also a leaf-like flexible flap called epiglottis, positioned above the trachea, that act as a gatekeeper. When food or water comes in, epiglottis closes the opening of trachea. And when air comes in or out, epiglottis opens the mouth of trachea. This trachea have a unique feature. These C-shaped rings of cartilage. They keep the trachea open at all times, like flexible scaffolding. And that open part at the back of the trachea is soft, so your esophagus can expand when you swallow food. Now, follow the air as it reaches a fork in the road, the bronchi. At the bottom of the trachea, the path splits into two, the right and left bronchi. These are the first branches of your airway tree. These bronchi are also covered with rings of cartilages. Here is something fascinating. The right bronchi is shorter, more vertical, and wider, which means inhaled objects, like food particles are more likely to get stuck here. On the other hand, the left bronchi are longer, narrower, and more horizontal. These bronchi enter each lung and branch out, again and again like branches of a tree. It is called bronchiole. There are over 30,000 bronchioles in each lungs. Now we have entered the bronchioles, the smallest airways in your lungs. While bronchi are lined with cartilage, bronchioles don't have any cartilage lining. So this bronchioles are more flexible and vulnerable. Each bronchiole is lined with smooth muscle that controls airflow by tightening or relaxing, like dimmer switches for your breath. Your lungs have a built-in janitorial team. Inner part of the bronchiole contains, tiny hair-like structures, called cilia. These cilia constantly sweeping out dust and invaders coming inside with air. And now, at the end of each bronchiole is the final destination of every breath, tiny air sacs like structure, this is called alveoli. Your lungs hold over 600 million alveoli. These tiny air sacs are only about 0.2 millimeters wide, but their combined surface area equals the size of a tennis court. This is where the magic happens. The exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Each alveoli is engaged in transferring oxygen into our blood, and removing waste gases like carbon dioxide from our blood. Wall of alveoli is ultra thin. It have the thickness of only one cell. Oxygen crosses the ultra thin wall into our blood. At the same time, carbon dioxide filtered out from the blood through this wall, 
and ready to be exhaled. Red blood cells in the blood carries carbon dioxide from the cells of our body. When it reaches to the alveoli, blood enters into the capillaries, their carbon dioxide released from the red blood cells, and creates space for fresh oxygen. Oxygen from alveoli enters into the capillary through thin walls of alveoli, and red blood cells carries this oxygen molecules, and distributed between cells of various organs in our body. It's a high-speed, life-saving trade, happening millions of times per minute in alveoli. Once the job is done, carbon dioxide rides the airway back, through bronchioles it will reach bronchi, after that trachea, and at the out of our body through nose or mouth.